So Charles, defensively, you guys got put in a bad situation right near the, the top. So how'd you guys felt you responded at that after that after that? Yeah, I think we, I think we did a good job responding. You know, uh, we we go over them situations in practice all the time. You know, uh, sudden change, and we just had to respond to it, you know, not, don't go out there with a bad attitude, like, mm -hmm. oh, we in the bad spot, just go out there and respond, and we will play the next down. How good was uh, K-State's offense, especially to that's respond? A, yeah, that's a, that's a good offense, you know, uh, coming to the game, you know what they're going to do, they're going to run the ball heavy, and you know, uh, take shots. Uh, I felt uh, we kind of we kind of did good, you know, stopping the run, but they had a couple big plays that hurt us, but that's, that's definitely a good offense. Some of their big plays were sort of, you know, because you guys had made mistakes, obviously, the, the roughing the passer. How do you get over those self-inflicted errors? Uh, I think it's just going back to the bases, going back to the fundamentals, uh, you know, going on tape, see what we did wrong, and, you know, just, just correct it. Because, well, you know, we can't keep making uh, self-wounded, mm -hmm. you know, mistakes. Looks like you had a real chance at an interception. How close were you to that? Or, I mean, from the press box, you can't tell if it's – here or here or, or what? Oh, there's no excuse. I should I should have made that. You know, you mm -hmm. know, that's most definitely I should have made that catch. So so I just gotta move on to the next play and you know, next time I get the opportunity, cash in on it. How badly as a defense do you guys just need to make some big plays like that? I mean you guys you got stops but they get a fourth down conversion, you know, a couple of interceptions don't quite go your way. You guys just need as a defense to make a good, big play to get things Yeah, going. most definitely. No, that's, that's very important. Uh, you know, momentum in the game, you know, we want to get the ball, mm -hmm. ball back to our offense. So, you know, our coaches preach all the time uh, takeaways. You know, that's, we kind of do a takeaway circuit in practice every day. So, that's a big emphasis on uh, just getting the ball back to our offense. Mm -hmm. What's the frustration level in the locker room, the emotion right now? Uh, I don't think it's, it's frustration. I just think it's, uh, you know, we we just know we could be better, and we know um, these self-inflicting wounds are hurting us. But I don't think it's, it's frustration. I think it's, uh, you know, we, as a team, we got to move on, go to the next week, and prepare for Texas. Mm -hmm. The difficulty of swapping around on the fly. So many got getting hurt and banged up, learning new places, jumping in. That affecting you, and is, does that come in and affect some of the fundamental execution? No, nah, I want to say it's affecting us because uh, you know we have good depth and uh, you know we do a good job at practice and developing them guys behind us. So if do something do happen, the guys are ready to step up and make a play. Has it bothered you at all? I mean, you were playing safety a good bit earlier, and now you're, I mean, obviously 99% corner. So those two things. Difficult to adjust? No, no, not at all. At the end of the day, it's football. You know, I love football at the end of the day, and I'm just happy to be out there to help my team.